Hello everybody and welcome to another video with me, Matt Goddard from The Boxing Locker and I'm just going to go through a very, very quick um, brief synopsis of my opinion on the Ryan Garcia victory over Devin Haney. Now, first and foremost, I have been telling people for weeks, weeks, that boxing is all about this one statement and that is that styles make fights, okay? These guys have got a history, okay? They, they have shared... Um, the ring multiple times, six times to be precise, with three victories in favour of each. So that in itself um, demonstrates that stylistically neither one is dominant. Now, um, will they have changed so much in their tenure as professionals that those fights no longer um, are relevant? Absolutely not. Um, you develop the basis of your style, your foundational skills in the amateur ranks. And, and as such, there will be elements that, ret that, that are retained um, and and come through in the pros. Um, Ryan Garcia especially, I mean, he is um, uh, athleticism personified. His, his primary um, attribute is his athleticism. Um, that means his hand speed, his dynamism, his explosive nature, his fast feet, his fast hands. Now, with that being said, of course, as I said, styles make fights. Ryan Garcia has got a style that was always, always going to be difficult for Devin Haney. You only have to address it with some... Um, some element of, of, of open, um, honest and unbiased, uh, uh, reasonable approach. Because, look, the, the, the real facts of the matter are, Ryan Garcia has got a lot of range. He's got good hand speed. He's got good power. Um, not only will he, was he more comfortable at the weight, but he actually came in even heavier, which I do not agree with, by the way, but which they, they agreed in advance that he would pay $500,000 per um pound he was over he was three pound over he he paid the money they should never have agreed that they should have just immediately stipulated that the fight would be cancelled and that he would have to make a payment to Haney um by way of of um uh um what are they called um a fee let's just say a fee okay <laughs> can't think of that word at all it's not coming to me um so that was a bad choice on on the haney team's behalf or the haney promotional team's behalf um but nonetheless that's what happened so um garcia was strong very strong going into it feeling heavy feeling strong he won the psychological battle he was dominant he appeared crazy he appeared like a lunatic but he did not let them get a word in edgeways he did not let them dominate conversation so not only did he um uh, control the, the, the fight when the fight happened, but he dominated the uh, psychological rhetoric, the psychological um, narrative that, that we perceived, okay? He was the topic of conversation. Nobody cared about Devin Haney because Ryan Garcia had gone crazy, which is an enormous thing. It seems like it wouldn't be, but it is. He had psychological dominance going into that. Haney, whether he knew it or not, will have been concerned that either A, uh, Garcia was mentally unstable and something crazy was going to happen or B, that it would be a fight that would be easy for him. Either one of those things will have affected him detrimentally. It would have been a negative effect on him and as such, he would have struggled more as a result of that. Now, how the fight played out. Haney won some rounds. Who cares? When you get dropped three times in a fight, it's very hard to earn a victory. Um, the referee took a point from Garcia. I don't think that was fair. Um, he gave Haney lots of time to recover. I don't think that was fair. So we got a balancing act, you know, coming in overweight, balances out with the referee's um, sort of biases towards Haney um, and Team Haney. Um, did Garcia look exceptional? No. Um, Haney looked poor. Uh, he, he, he lacked dynamism, he lacked any real strategy, he was defensively lacklustre, um, he could have Shakur Stevenson this and won quite comfortably by just boxing, moving, not engaging. Um, I think the, the rivalry worked in Garcia's favour again, another psychological victory for Team Garcia um, and, and I, I don't think Haney thought Garcia would do the damage he did. Um, the work that he's done with Derek James has obviously been beneficial, not to his punch power, um, but to his patience, uh, to the manner in which he tries to create them openings. Um, the left hook is a fantastic punch. He throws it very well. But you know, we've seen it against um, Javonto. We've seen it against um, opponents in the past. If you can nullify that lead hand, he is very flawed. Um, and you can get to him, as we saw, as I said, with Tank um, and and where uh, Luke Campbell um, demonstrated a couple of weaknesses in the past. Um, but look, it was a great fight. It's great for boxing. Devin Haney does not deserve to be lambasted as, as a result of one loss. He took on a young um, former champion uh, with 
with a lot of a lot of positives in his favor um he didn't have to take that fight um it was a good choice he would have made a decent wedge of cash off the back of that and it shouldn't affect his future he can come again um obviously we are aware that the the being dropped three times um and you know he's been dropped in the past there's a there's a question there but i think perhaps he's um he's boxing at a weight too low i think he's too big for the weight he should be moving up to world weight himself there's fights there. There's lots of opponents there that he can make. Um, even the tank fight at welterweight would be a good fight. And and arguably the loss now for Haney makes other fights more realistic to expect. Shakur Stevenson, Tank, uh, Tia Fimo. These fights are there now. Um, should they be made? Absolutely, yes. I would say give him one fight, bounce back. Time in the time in the gym to correct the mistakes that he made. Work on the developing the correct mindset and, and building himself up. And then from there, um, look for one of them big fights again. Uh, don't jump straight back in. That's a crazy idea. Um, have a fight in between them. Maybe look for a rematch after that. Or again, as I said, one of those other big names. Um, so, yeah, you know, this is what we need from boxing. This is what this is what modern boxing needs. The, the death of boxing is a lack of big fights. When these fights are made, the interest is there. The world talks about boxing. Um, and, and we need more of them. You know, we had we had a Nui Fulton. We had um, Fury Usyk four or five times. That hasn't actually materialised, but it's coming soon. We had Crawford Spence. We had, um, you know, all of all of these huge, huge fights. Canelo, Bivol. Um, now you've got... Uh, um, now you've got uh, Bivol Baturbiev. Now you've got um, Inoue against Neri for, for all the titles again. People are, people are doing the right thing. Boxers are doing the right thing. Promotional companies have sort of had to take a step back and let these fighters fight the fights they want. And um, I think that's a great thing for boxing, you know. Um, that's what we need. That's what we want more of, certainly. So um, there we have it, guys. Those are my thoughts on the Garcia Haney fight. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, congratulations to Ryan Garcia. And hopefully we see Devin Haney come again very soon. Thanks.